Hi Virgo, this is your April mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. And then I'll do a love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in the second half of April. We have uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Um, the, then we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the King of Cups with the uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of uh, Pentacles. And we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a fellow Earth Sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Well, I got a confession to make, uh, Virgo. When I saw the first three cards, the uh, Page of Cups with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, the first thing that came out of my mouth, I looked it over and I said, well, that was quick. Because <laughs> those three cards tell the whole story. It, they really do. Right? I kept going hoping to see some court cards and yes, we have some court cards. So I think I did the right thing by moving forward. So we got this King of Cups in the um, potential outcome, the first card in there. So that's the person you're dealing with. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, this is somebody who is mature, in control of their emotions perhaps, uh, but at the same time still very loving. Right? And you've got two commitment and marriage cards on the table. Two. Not one, but two. The Ten of Cups, the first uh, commitment and marriage card was the third card that actually came out <laughs> before I started clarifying, before I, before I even turned the deck over. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles is sitting right next to the King of Cups. Yeah, you're going to marry this person, Virgo. Yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. But we actually start off with the Page of Cups. You know, it will start normally just like uh, any relationship or marriage, the page of cups, this is somebody asking you out on a date or perhaps somebody will approach you if you're already out by yourself or socializing with friends and to me personally the page of cups is the nicest page out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult <laughs> the remaining three, three pages but the, yeah it's the nicest one you know expect flowers, expect uh, all kinds of attention, them, them being super nice to you, right? Uh, the Queen of Pentacles clarifying uh, the Page of Cups, that's you. And by the way, whenever I see a King and a Queen in the same spread, even if they're off so that's that's still a very good sign. You guys are vibing on a very high level, the King and the Queen level. To me, that usually means both people are ready for something serious, all right? Then the, turns out the two of you really are, right? Ready. Because the next card I give out is that Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands. This right there is a very decisive energy. You know, with the Ace of Swords, you'll be crystal clear what the two of you mean to each other. You'll be crystal clear about how you feel towards one another. With the Ace of Swords, you'll most likely have this conversation. And uh, nobody's going to be fooling or playing around, uh, you know, with this. Nobody's going to be beating around the bush. Uh, you'll just talk about getting into commitment right away because both of you... Um, are on the same page about what's going on. You guys feel the same way towards one another. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, and uh, the Three of Wands, clarifying the Ace of Swords, is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back, right? So you're decide you will very quickly decide to move towards this uh, commitment. It's a bit of a... Uh, unlike you, Virgo, because most Virgos I've ever known, you guys like to take your time to get to know each other, you like to plan ahead, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way you guys work. That's the way you guys are. But with this person, it's like, why waste time when we make such a great couple, right? You will click right away, right? And uh, here comes the first uh, commitment in marriage card, the Ten of Cups. So you see, the first two cards, the Page of Cups, dating, Ace of Swords, very straightforward conversation, a decision, and the decision is to go to the Ten of Cups. Like I said, well, that was quick. <laughs> The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. If having children is still an option for the two of you, you two will have children together or have more children together. The Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, right? Two people feel the same way about this, 
right? And that's why you're no, not hesitating. In the potential outcome, besides the King of Cups, we also have uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Love those two cards there. The Ten of Pentacles is the second commitment on marriage card. Rock solid commitment to marriage card. So you do have the emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups and you got practicality with the Ten of Pentacles, right? So you're essentially getting the best of both worlds. The Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck, yeah, down to earth, planning ahead. This is where the planning comes in. <laughs> so this is where the planning finally comes in. Right? The Knight of Pentacles uh, is the most serious, stable knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term and money. All right? The Knight of Pentacles is all about, like I said, planning ahead together. All right? Um, yeah, love it. You got what? I think you got every single element on the table. You got swords, wands, cups, and pentacles. Perfect. You've got all the ingredients for a very uh, loving and uh, down to earth and uh, very stable uh, marriage. Virgo, you really do. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Virgo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. We have the Star. And uh, we'll have the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Well, it's either a wedding, <laughs> Virgo, or it could be someone's birthday party. It could be an engagement party, housewarming party, um, baby shower party, someone's birthday. I don't know. Uh, but definitely a new cycle, definitely a celebration, and uh, you are a part of it. Speaking of you. Uh, the Hermit on the bottom of the deck, that's your major arcana card, right? Uh, so you are in your highest vibrational energy possible. That's you right there. The Wheel of Fortune could be a card of a, a trip, going somewhere, but it's a card of a starting a new cycle. A new cycle. And it has something to do with the, the remaining three cards. <laughs> the Three of Cups, classified by the Ten of Cups. This is just as happy as it gets. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever up the card. It's a card of a family, it's a card of a commitment, marriage, some kind of a celebration. The Three of Cups, clarifying the Ten of Cups, is a, a celebration card or a card of a reunion. All right, so again, yeah, you can leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you. But yeah, it's a new cycle for someone um, and uh, it has something to do with the family or the, uh, the family that is just about to form. So, and uh, by the way, the star on the uh, right next to the deck would be an Aquarius, you know, but it's the star is a card of a wish come true. All right, so it could be a family reunion, again, some kind of a celebration. Um, it could be an engagement party. I already went through all the options, right? But definitely a new cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely a new cycle. It could be you moving in together, or it could be you getting married, or it could be you getting engaged, or someone else's, or it could be happening to somebody who is very close to you. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, in the second half of April. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Moon. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords, and we got the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, um, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, you're dealing with this King of Swords, or you were, rather, dealing with this King of Swords. And it just feels difficult. That's the first feeling I felt. Difficult. It was difficult with this person, Virgo, right? Um, I don't know if they're going to reach out to you. They may. But, um, yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you. They can't let you go. They just cannot let you go. And, it, and it's, they're going through this... Um, it's taken a toll on them. I gotta be fair to this person. This time apart, not having you in their life, uh, is difficult for this person. It's, it's just difficult, I guess, is the word when it comes to this person. <laughs> in terms of pretty much everything, right? So you got this King of Swords clarified by the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, something that's taken a toll on us. The Moon sitting right next to the King of Swords could be a Pisces here, you know, but um, the Moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck. All right, it's also a card of secret, something hidden, something we're not aware of. And uh, what you're not aware of is this person is going through uh, difficult times without you. The Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck, that card has always to do with the past. This is a card of grieving the past, regretting the past, reminiscing the past, 
right? So you're con they're constantly thinking of you. Speaking of that, the Eight of Swords, the next card over, yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck. Um, and uh, the Page of Swords, clarifying that, it could be a message that is finally going to come your way, but page, the Page of Swords is most likely a card of them spying on you. Perhaps you're still friends on social media, or they perhaps created a fake account and uh, watch you that way, or perhaps you guys are still in each other's lives and you see each other every once in a while. Yeah, um, if they do reach out to you, I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel very lovey-dovey. Virgo, it just doesn't. But um, yeah, that's what I have for you, Virgo, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please, um, <laughs> please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing the rest of April.